I bid you welcome to Montober. Today I'm going to talk about the creature from the Black Lagoon, 1956. Now, yeah, this is an outside video different from my normal location. We finally got some cool weather. This is the first morning that feels like a true fall morning. And I figured I'd take advantage of a nice background. The creature from the Black Lagoon centers around archaeologists. One in the beginning finds this weird hand with like claws and webs in its fossilized. So he goes, leaves the dig site with his assistants to bring a team to excavate it. While he's gone, the creature comes out and kills the two assistants in one thing this movie does really well in keeping the creature off camera for a while all you see is its hand there's an art to keeping the monster mostly off camera showing glimpses of parts of it and still building a sense of dread around it and this film nails that when the crew gets back it consists of other people two of which is a couple, and from some of the dialogue, it implies they might be living together outside of marriage, which was a very taboo thing at the time. And you get some interesting conflicts, like one kind of wants to kill the creature, the other thinks it should be captured alive, but they start digging up where the arm was found they found nothing else and the eventually they encounter the creature and it just becomes standard creature fare but done really well they even manage to sedate it for a while and capture it which is part of their big mistake but one of the things i like is the creature is smart these people are in his lagoon and it's in the amazon rainforest and they ain't getting out alive there's one point where they go to leave he even tears down a tree to block their way out and there's some great scenes where they're trying to hook the winch up and it won't stay connected so they have to go underwater and the two guys get into a fight because the one wants to get in without harming the creature and get out and the other wants to be the bait so he can shoot at the creature with the spear gun which at this point i don't care if it's the only one of its species left if i had a 50 caliber magnum i'd blow its head off because if it's me or that it's good i'm gonna do everything i can to make sure i'm the one that lives but it is a neat but kind of stupid conflict at this point. I could see if the creature wasn't hurting anyone, but that's just a gripe. So they find, and the creature also pulls a King Kong and develops an obsession with this girl that ultimately leads to his downfall. The cinematography is beautiful, and even the way they use the rainforest in this movie, the rainforest is a character unto itself. Like, there's a scene when they're out on the rowboat, they think they hear something, then you hear the ambient noises from the rainforest that just enhances the atmosphere. And yeah, I'm not going over too much plot-wise. I just don't really want to spoil this movie for you in case you haven't seen it. One interesting note, Ted White was an uncredited stuntman in this film. I want to know, I would love to know if he was the creature at any point. That would be awesome. Why? Because Ted White in Friday the 13th Part 4 played a little character by the name of Jason Voorhees and it would just be awesome to think Jason has a direct connection to the creature from the Black Lagoon like that. But like I was saying, the creature develops an obsession with the woman that's on the party. Very King Kong-like. And it leads to his downfall. 
fall. There's even one, a few parts where you see there's these like tunnels the creature can swim to, and it's he can climb out of it. You get the sense that that's his home, even though it has gills, it can come on land. There is my biggest complaint about this movie. There's a point where they manage to capture it. Now, this thing's already been snared in a net when they didn't know it was there, and it splintered the mast. So they have this simple wooden cage they're holding it in. If it can splinter a mast, do you really think that cage is going to hold it, people? But that's neither here nor there. The final scene is pretty fun. And it's just an all-around great movie. One of the best universal monsters and the last creature added to the roster of universal monsters. There are two more films in the series, Revenge of the Creature, which marks the screen debut of Clint Eastwood and Creature That Walks Among Us, which... If you're watching through all the Universal Monster movies, watch it. If you're morbidly curious, watch it. Otherwise, I'd say pass. It's not very good. The creature is just there and doesn't do anything. And the characters are absolutely miserable. But the original creature from the Black Lagoon, I put it up there with the best of the Universal Monsters. So that's the creature from the black lagoon go check it out you won't be disappointed next week i might shake things up and sprinkle in a hammer film i don't know but october 19th to coincide with the release of the new halloween film mummy's hand which in its own way is the first that's really the proto slasher film i'll explain it when i do the review but until then don't forget to like share comment subscribe tell me what you think look forward to hearing from you over and out